I got a message from Clever Creatives who wrote, what do you suggest as a good baseline computer to run Adobe Captivate? Now, I've received this question before and I've resisted it in the past, but I've decided that, you know, now's a good time to probably consider this. I always sort of look at these things from my own perspective. I bought a new computer, I think it was about three or four years ago now. So I expect that within the next year or so, I'll probably be shopping for a new computer. And the ability to run uh, Adobe Captivate is obviously an important aspect for someone like myself. There is actually a system requirements page that you can find within the help documents for Adobe Captivate. I'll put the link to it down in the description below so you can easily find it. Uh, besides the languages required, uh, essentially you're looking at two different systems, uh, possibly a Windows computer or Mac OS. And the system requirements for both are going to be very similar. So, for example, under the Windows requirements, a 2 gigahertz or faster Intel processor. And for Mac OS, it says a multi-core Intel processor. If you kind of look at sort of the uh, two together and sort of suggest that uh, you're going to want a dual core 2 gigahertz processor or greater across the board, uh, that's going to eliminate maybe one or two of the Mac computers, maybe the entry-level Mac Mini, uh, and it's going to replace a lot of those entry-level, or it's going to uh, eliminate those uh, entry-level Windows machines that you usually see for two or three hundred dollars. Uh, the Windows operating system, um, you're basically looking at a 64-bit version of Windows 7 uh, with Service Pack 1, Windows 8, or Windows 10. And uh, uh, Mac OS 10.13.5 or later. So again, uh, pretty much you're going to want the latest operating system from either camp. You certainly can run uh, Adobe Captivate 2019 on Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. But if you're buying a new computer, it's probably going to come with Windows 10 anyway. The other thing that's, uh, that's uh, listed on both is the amount of RAM required. 8 gigabytes RAM is considered to be the, the minimum system requirements. Uh, my current computer runs 16 gigabytes, and I find that it its performance is pretty good. So, uh, you know, whenever possible, consider upgrading that. The hard drive space is 10 gigabytes for both. Um, maybe additional free space uh, during installation. So, obviously, if you've got uh, excess files on your hard drive, you might want to clear those out before installing Captivate. And of course, there's a note here about not being able to install on removable flash drives, uh, such as uh, USB thumb drives and that sort of thing. Uh, there is a requirement that Flash Player 10 or greater be installed. Um, more importantly though, a WebGL compatible graphics card is required, uh, again, for Windows or Mac OS. Uh, the minimum resolution, it's saying you can get away with 1024 by 768, but they really recommend 1280 by 1024. Uh, so those are the, the system requirements for both systems. And uh, my emphasis here for all of you is that I would consider these the minimum system requirements. When it comes time to buying a new computer, if you are an Adobe Captivate user, um, I think you want to look at this a little differently. You don't want to look at what's the minimum I can get away with, but instead think about what, you know, what you're going to be doing for the next four to five years. Typically for me, that's about as long as a new computer is going to last me. If I buy a new computer in 2010, I'm buying a new, com a new computer afterwards in 2015. Um, so you definitely want to think about uh, what the future holds. There's going to be newer versions of Adobe Captivate coming out over the next five years, and those system requirements may go up. Uh, your requirements may go up. So what I prefer to do is I look at my budget at the time. If I have $1,000 to spend, or if I have $1,500 to spend, or if I think I can get away with pushing my budget up to $2,000, you know, something in that range there, you know, a couple hundred dollars today might, might save you a whole bunch of aggravation over the next five years. Uh, so consider that. So once you have your budget in place, 
um, buy the best darn computer you can get for that amount of money. Don't save a little bit here and there thinking that, well, the system requirements of Adobe Captivate are lower than this, so I don't need as much RAM or I don't need a solid state drive when a uh, traditional mechanical hard drive would do. No, by all means, maximize this computer so that you can get the best performance possible. Trust me, you'll thank me in the long run. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.